Welcome to our casa, and today we're making homemade potato gnocchi. This recipe contains two of my favorite foods, which are mashed potatoes and pasta. Now let's check out what ingredients we need. For our gnocchi recipe, we're going to use one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, four russet potatoes, one egg, and two teaspoons of salt. First things first is we're gonna boil the potatoes. But wait, before we boil, we always have to wash our potatoes or any fruit and vegetables you use. Now these little babies are all nice and clean. They're ready to go into the pot. Before we boil our potatoes, we're going to take a charade knife and we're going to go around the potato and make a little indention. You don't want to go too far in. You don't want to cut through the potato. You just want to go all the way around like you're drawing a line. Remember, whenever you're using a knife, make sure you watch out for your fingers and you always have your adult sous chef with you. Uno, due, tre, Quattro. Now we fill our pot with water. We want enough water so all the potatoes are covered. Okay, and always get your, let your sous chef help you when you're turning on the stove. Now we have to let our potatoes boil for about 40 minutes because we need to get them nice and soft so we can mash them up. So in the meantime, why don't we hear a little history about where gnocchi comes from. Gnocchi come from the same country where I come from, and that's why I speak so weirdly. Italy is a beautiful country that belongs to the continent of Europe. It's all on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, very, very far away from us. The dish we're cooking today, it's kind of uh, 2,000 years old, more or less, and when Italy uh, wasn't the small country that it is right now, but was a big, huge country called the Roman Empire, they used to make gnocchi already, importing all the flowers and the grains from the Far East. How do you spell gnocchi? You spell gnocchi G-N-O-C-C-H-I and uh, one gnocchi, you say gnocco, with an O at the end. So the potatoes are not ready yet, so what should we do? Play a game. <laughs> <laughs> Have a dance party. The potatoes are done! Yep. Now we ask our sous chef, adult sous chef, whoa, to take each potato out of the pot. Now we gently have our sous chef put our hot potatoes into an ice bath. And now the chef is back in charge. Once your potatoes have cooled down, make sure to get your sous chef to check the temperature. We're ready to peel the potatoes. This is a fun part. Look at the skin, it just falls right off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. We always like to keep a clean kitchen. Now we're gonna get ready to prepare the dough. It's time to mash the potatoes. Gotta use all your arm strength here. So now we're going to take our one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and we're going to sprinkle it on top. Now we also take two teaspoons of salt and sprinkle that all over. Now using your hands, this is the fun part, we're going to make a well 
just like a little hole, like you're digging a tunnel right in the center of your potato and flour mixture. Now it's time to crack our egg. You can crack it on the side of your bowl. And then using both thumbs, pull the shells apart and drop it right into your well. Now it's time to wash your hands. Always use soap. Now we whisk up that egg. Awesome. Now we take a wooden spoon and mix all these ingredients together. So we're gonna flour our work surface. And now we take our potato dough and put it on our floured surface. I'm just gonna put a little flour on my hands and a little flour all over our dough and we're going to start kneading. And what does that mean? Kneading just means that we're going to incorporate the dough by folding and pressing it into itself. So we turn, fold, press. Turn, fold, press. Turn, fold, press. And then you can go a little faster if you want. Look, you can do it with one hand. Look at that. We're not gonna need it for too long because we don't want to overwork the dough. If you feel that it's getting a little sticky, all you need to do is add some more flour. Going to make it into a nice bowl. Now I'm going to use this tool right here which is called a bench scraper and you know if you don't have that at home you can use a knife as well. We're going to divide the dough into equal separate pieces. Let's add some more flour to our work surface. And we're gonna start by rolling the dough out. Start in the middle and move your hands out. We're trying to get a nice rope going here. We're gonna cut that in half. And do the same thing, roll it out. So now you're gonna take your bench cutter or a knife and we're gonna cut little squares. And once that first batch is done, we're gonna transfer it into a flour lined baking sheet. Now we have our sous chef to help us make our gnocchi. All of our gnocchi have been shaped and now we're gonna put them in the freezer just for five to 10 minutes right before we cook them. This is gonna let it hold its form. It's totally fine if all of your gnocchi don't look like each other. They're all perfect and beautiful and they're going to taste delicious. All right guys, see you soon. Now we need to salt our water to cook the pasta. Awesome. Hot. Hot. We're gonna add a lot of salt to the water because it's gonna make our pasta super flavorful. All right. Thank you. So we took our gnocchi out of the freezer and we're ready to cook it. It's not gonna take long to cook these freshly made gnocchi, only around two, three minutes. Once you start to see them float to the top, that means they're ready to go. All right, we just drained the first batch. I'm gonna dress these gnocchi in my favorite sauce, which is a tomato and basil. Parmesan 
Parmesan cheese. Time to taste. Super hot. Be careful. The jokey dance. Mmm. Good. Buonissimo. Buonissimo. Okay, now we're going to dress the second batch and we're gonna use one of Francesco's favorites of melted butter and sage. Who doesn't love butter and cheese? Take two. Good. This is my favorite. This is your favorite? Mm -hmm. mm, let's see. That is good. I, I think I'm gonna stick to my Pomodoro. All right, cheers. Cheers. Too hot. Don't be like him. Wait till your food cools down. And thank you for coming to our casa.